Hi, welcome back. This is Donna with ABC Cake Decorating Supplies. We are going to continue our cake journey and the next stop for our cake journey is going to be royal icing. If you don't know what royal icing is, royal icing is that icing that dries really hard. If you remember when you were little, you get those candy dots and you peel it off and you get more paper than, than, than the sugar to eat. Well, that's basically what royal icing is. And we're going to step into a little bit of the royal icing. We're gonna show you how to make it. I'm gonna show you some of the techniques so that you don't hate life working with royal icing. Also, we're gonna get into some appliques, make royal icing flowers. So I think this journey, this part of the segment is gonna be really fun. Ingredients simple, powdered sugar or confectionery sugar, meringue powder, meringue powder you do need or your icing's not going to dry hard, and water, and a trusty little mixer. Simple, simple. What we have is a pound of powdered sugar, we have a meringue powder, and I start out with six tablespoons of water. I didn't think you guys needed to see me measure out six tablespoons of water. And then if you need to add a little bit more water, I use my squirt bottle just to add a little bit of water into my icing rather than trying to put in water by, by a tablespoon. If your icing does get too runny, just like buttercream, add more powdered sugar. If it's too stiff, just simply add more water to it. You can flavor it, however, make sure it's not an oil-based flavor. If you don't want to make it from scratch, there are many different ready-made icings out there for you. Make sure it says royal icing, and basically what it has is it has the meringue powder and the powdered sugar already in it. We've got our bowl. We've got our pound of powdered sugar, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit at a time because I don't wanna make a big powder mess. We are going to need three level tablespoons of meringue powder. So get out your tablespoon. And then if you want, you can always use one of your spatulas to get it nice and level. So we have one. two, and three, okay. Powdered sugar, meringue powder in there. Now I'm going to add my six tablespoons of water, and like I say, depending upon humidity, if it's dry, whatever the room temperature is, you may have to add a little bit more water. So it's always easier to add water than take it away. So we're just gonna add our water. Then I'm gonna start my mixer out on low. I'm not gonna go above medium. One of the things with royal icing is, is you do need to mix it probably between seven to 10 minutes, depending upon how strong of a mixer you have. What you want it to do is form peaks. So I'm gonna start mixing. And then when it's all incorporated, then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up a little bit. And you can see these peaks are starting to look good, but you don't want to rush it. If you don't mix it completely, it could start to separate and, and you won't have a real pretty piped design. And sometimes people cheat themselves on, on mixing it enough. If you need to, set a timer or something for at least seven minutes so that you make sure you get the full consistency. And you can see it here, it's starting to thicken up. Now, if it's getting too thick, this is where you just take a little bit, just do a couple squirts, and it'll immediately reduce it for you. Like buttercream, so I'm not yelling. Like buttercream, there are different consistencies for that also. There is a thin, there is a stiff, and there is a medium consistency icing. I'm gonna just probably mix it just a couple more minutes just to make sure, because I've done that mistake where I've mixed it thinking it was good and then it just kind of runs. It doesn't pipe very well. In, in our next lesson, we're gonna be piping some appliques 
and you're going to want it to be a medium icing. By adding approximately seven tablespoons of water, you're gonna get to the medium consistency. The six tablespoons was a stiff icing. Oh yeah, look at this. And even the shine is going away. So we are, we're cooking with gas now, I tell you. All right. One thing about royal icing is because it does dry hard, you wanna make sure when you're not using it, you keep it covered. Everything that it touches, it's going to dry unless it's covered. So to make sure it doesn't dry out before I get ready to use it, I am going to wrap it nice and tight. And then I'm going to get my piping bags ready. And I hope to see you back for the next segment on how to pipe royal icing app appliques. If you have any comments, please contact me at Donna at double Hope to see you soon. Thank you.